2010-2011 NFHS Points of Emphasis Verticality. Principle of Verticality. The committee is concerned that the principle of verticality is not being applied consistently, especially in situations that involve block shots. Verticality applies to a legal position. We're going to take a look at some of these basic components. This clip will demonstrate some of these principles. You can see here the action in the post. Principle A. Legal guarding position must be obtained initially and movement thereafter must be legal. Principle B. For this position, the defender may rise or jump vertically and occupy the space within his or her vertical plane. Principle C. The hands and arms of the defender may be raised within his or her vertical plane while on the floor or in the air. Principle D. The defender should not be penalized for leaving the floor vertically or having his or her hands and arms extended within his or her vertical plane. As you can see by this clip, all of these principles being applied result in this as a non-foul. This next clip will help to demonstrate principle E as it applies to a defensive player in his vertical plane that receives contact from the offense. For this play, we'll watch the action as it occurs in the key between number 21 white and number 1 green. Principle E. The offensive player, whether on the floor or airborne, may not clear out or cause contact within the defender's vertical plane. Here we can see that the defense has established a legal guarding position and is well within his vertical plane. The offense, in his motion to the basket, causes contact with the defender within his vertical plane. This is a foul. Now we'll take a look at a principle of verticality as it applies to a defender whose motion, although vertical, causes contact with the offense and is a foul. Take a look at the action here between these two players. Watch as the offense goes to retrieve the ball and the defense bellies up and causes number 23 white to be pushed off balance. Principle E. The defender may not belly up or use the lower part of the body or arms to cause contact outside his or her vertical plane. Here we can clearly see the defender that although vertical, bellies up to the offense, turns, causing the offensive player to lose her balance. This is a foul. As a point of emphasis for this year, it is important that we understand these principles and apply them to our officiating. 